All right, so here is the first home. Off the bat, I do see that nice red car. And also we have some holiday items here. So this may be a good house for inventory. For, um, I'm not sure yet though. I'm just assuming. On the outside, it just looks like a plain box, but we'll see what's inside. Okay, so we have those two statues, and we have a Christmas tree. Um, we have the garage items, and some smaller things I'm seeing. We have the closet items. Per usual. Um, I'm not seeing really anything new. We have those towels. That's from the spa event. And also that green couch. Um, urban items. Um, another tree. We have that gray couch. And also that fireplace. We have that. And more garage items. And chalet items. So overall, for inventory, this house is not too bad. For layout-wise, it's not too bad. So here is this house, the donut house. We've had this house before. Um, you're getting the, the pine bookshelves, like even though it doesn't show the walls are down. And let me see. Um, we aren't really getting anything new in here. We have the villa items. You know, we have the usual items. But there's not really anything new. And here is this house. Um, they have the Latin windows. If you have not unlocked the Latin house in the game, you want to get this house. This has all of the Latin items that you need. It has the doors, um, which came from uh, the, uh, the Desert Oasis event, and we have all of the Latin furniture. Um, you see, everything is Latin. I don't know why they have, like, about, like, five million chairs in one place. That just doesn't make sense to me, really. um, you know, in a bedroom, but that's just me. And so, yeah, if you have not unlocked the Latin house, this would be a great house to get. Since it's got all those items that you want. To unlock, you know, especially the windows. And here is this house. This is actually um, a duplex. And and so on the outside, it looks okay. Um, but let's see what's on the inside. No, I didn't see if this came in the car or not. Um, this side, you have the, uh, the lake house items. Um, not much new in here. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> and then, and then on this side, you have urban items. There's nothing new, and oh, and you have that coffee table right there. Um, I forget where that's from. And then upstairs, we have the Moroccan uh, seating um, in, um, in the bedroom, and then also the family furnishings. 
And then also the Moroccan uh, spices. And then also we have on this side um, um, a Moroccan couch. And, and we have a Moroccan rug right there. And also underneath the bed. And here is this monstrosity right here. This is, judging from the look of it on the outside, I can already tell you I'm not a fan. This is huge. But then again, I'm not a huge, uh, a, a fan of huge homes. Um... But, you know, that's just my opinion. But, let's see, you saw the basement. There really isn't anything there. There isn't anything here except for the new plants on the inside. We have those. And we have the fountain, the outdoor fountain. But other than that, I'm not seeing anything new. Just really those plants. But if you find any small items, then hey, that's great. Um, I don't really have, you know, time to go over each and every item. Otherwise, this would be way long, and who's got time for that? So again. There's no freaking inventory in this house. What the hell? None. I would save your money on this house because there's nothing. Um, you would just be lying. I mean, you would just be just be buying the house for the layout, which isn't that great. Here is this home. We've had this home before. This is, um, let's read the, it comes up the car. And. Um, we have the chalet items. Urban items. Very usual. We have a couple of the lavish items. We have the Glam Mansion Shower. The Chic Event Mirror. And that homestead table. Up here, there really isn't anything new. There's nothing new up here, actually. We have the um, home, home theater items. The layout on this isn't my favorite at all. I don't, I, I don't really like it. This is um, not my cup of tea, but. You know, everyone has their own styles. And you have the garage and laundry items. Here is this house. This is the player, the, the, I forget what it's called. Player uh, design house. And there's nothing really new in here, so don't waste your money. There is no inventory except for the fountain. And then here is this house. This is our last house. And this one is cute. Um, they had made this into a wedding, a wedding venue. And it's really, really nice. Um,
There's the outside still. I am just taking my sweet little time over here on the outside. But it is really cute on the outside. It's gorgeous. And then here's the front. Here's the basement. And you have some, uh, some tables, a DJ booth. You have a, you have a club area for dancing. This is cool. You have a piano there. And then up here, you have um, just some seating and and some more tables. And then a door that leads outside. And then there's more seating. And then when you go upstairs, you have a, um, a big kitchen. And, and some more seating. And then there are two, um, are two bedrooms in this, you know, in this venue. So that is pretty nice. Not bad at all. 